Welcome to segment number 28, and we're going to play Family Feud for the SNES. Let's see if we can win a possible $20,000. We'll certainly try. If you're short of money, name the bill you delay paying. Uh, credit card. That is incorrect. Let's try the next question. Name an excuse that people use to get out of jury duty. Uh, sick. Yep. Two grand, hand, yep. Let's go for $3,000. Name an animal that people breed. Uh, they breed horses. Nope. Four grand coming up. Name a family dinner you've never served a company. Steak. No. One more. Here we go. Name a place where you often see a band performing. A concert. Nope. We're playing for $7,000. How many people started? We have the top seven answers on the board for this question. Name a specific food you wash before eating. Potatoes. Potatoes. Is there, the number four answer said by five people. How about tomatoes? You wash tomatoes before eating. How about tomatoes? It's there. Six, uh, number six answer said by four people. I'm going to go with apples. You wash an apple before eating. Do you wash apples before eating? It's the number one answer said by 53 people. I'm going to go with lettuce. Coming up with some very good answers here. Is lettuce there? Yep, lettuce is there. said by 18 people. My next answer will be strawberries. Oh, that's a good answer right there. Strawberries. Not there. A very good answer, though. How about grapes? Do you wash grapes before eating them? Let's see if you wash grapes. Yep, 13 people said grapes. All right. My next answer will be watermelon. How about watermelon? Not there, no. How about fish? Sure, some fish you wash before eating. Let's say fish. No, the other two answers. Looking for peaches and carrots. Peaches and carrots. Oh well. That's alright, we got five out of seven. That's not bad. Point values are now doubled. We have the top five answers on the board for this question. Name something that superstitious people think brings good luck. Rabbit's foot. <coughs> Rabbit's foot. It's the number one answer. I'm gonna go with a four-leaf clover. Four leaf clover? That's a good answer. Four leaf clover. It's there. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go with a lucky penny. Oh, that's a good answer. Lucky penny? A lucky penny is there. Yep, two people said that. Something superstitious people think bring, think spring, think brings good luck. <clears throat> How about a cross? No, that's wrong. So we have rabbit's foot, we have a four-leaf clover, and we have lucky penny. How about a shamrock? No. Uh, how about a tiki statue? 
I don't think it's gonna be there, but hey, three out of five is not bad. Let's see it. Nope, we were looking for horseshoe and knock on wood. But we're up to 267 points anyway, we're gonna triple the point value. And we have the top four answers on the board <coughs> to this question. Name a sign you might see on someone's lawn. Keep off the grass. Keep off the grass. It's there. How about no trespassing? No trespassing. No. Nope. Sorry. Why don't we go with for sale? For sale. There we go, for sale. How about private property? Looking for private property? No. I'll go with yard sale. Oh, that's a good one. Yard sale. No. Nope. Beware of dog and garage sale. Oh well. But we're gonna play for seven thousand dollars and see if we get it. Here we go. Name the best TV night of the week. Thursday. Name a chocolate food. Candy. Name a way to prepare eggs. Scrambled. Name a color on a bird. Blue. Tell me how many hamburgers you eat in an average week. Two. Who is Alright, we need 18 points. Name the best TV night of the week. Friday, TGIF on ABC. Name a chocolate food. Ice cream. Name a way to prepare eggs. Um, I will say fried. Color on a bird. White. Tell me how many hamburgers you eat in an average week. One. Who is that? Who is that? Oh! Who is that? There we go! Who is that? Nope. Who is that? Number one answer. What about seven thousand dollars though? We will wrap it up for this segment. I'll see you all for the next one.